Good afternoon, friends. How's everybody doing on this hump day? Happy hump day. Um, it's getting toward the end of the month. Another month flew by. Got some beautiful weather, though. Very thankful of that. Very thankful of that. I love the sunshine. No cloud in the sky. Just beautiful. Well, we're at, I'm sure, other places in the world that isn't this fortunate right now. But we just want to always start off by saying God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Very, very good. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance. Turn that frown upside down. And look up. Because he's got you. Um, today's going to be a little different. Um, today's message is going to be... I should name it Crazy Faith. I've been listening to Mike Todd a lot. And he just came out with another book instead of Relationship Goals. This one is Crazy Faith. That series um, was very impactful. And that was uh, earlier on in my Christian walk. My recent Christian walk, we'll say that. Um, but uh, now he's got a series called Crazy Your Faith. And... It's just amazing. It's, man, the faith that he put into our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And um, faith without works is dead. I mean, if we don't put it in his hands and just say, Lord, you got this, I know you do, then, you know, we can't please him. We're going to get into that a little bit later. But I'm going to give you guys what's been on my mind. Um, I've been reaching out to a couple people, putting... Uh, ideas out there but I'm really gonna go through with this um, I'm taking a step of faith um, the Lord has been putting this on my heart I've been really discerning his voice lately and he realizes or oh, he knows the passion that I have for kids um, a quick little story when I was a teenager I used to go to this place called Life Station Life Station was a Christian-based camp that they teach, you know, we went there and rode horses and did like some duties, like literally shoveled duty. <laughs> but it was a place where you could go, um, the parents dropped their kids off, of course they had to pay a little bit of money because they would provide food, they would provide activities, they would provide uh, a lot of things. Sometimes you could sleep over, they had super cool things set up for the kids and I remember that so much, and I had so much fun as a kid. But then... I uh, discovered that if I got into trouble that I could go to a juvenile facility that was kind of like that Christian camp. It was a Christian based juvenile facility and it wasn't like you were under lock and key or anything like that. You were actually in a house where they taught you Christian values and they taught you um, a Christian schooling and they taught you stuff with love. and they did a lot of stuff now granted that was not cheap they took me to places like porcupine mountains they took me to uh the bull stadium they took me skiing for my first time they took me to a lot of places and i loved it loved it so much that i got into trouble again just to go back i guess um i spent two birthdays there um and these are things that i remember as a kid as a teenager and it has stuck with me what has really stuck with me is the core values that I learned about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how much he loves us and how much other people care for us in our in our eternal salvation. You know, um, a lot of people sacrificed a lot of things uh, to get kids like me, incorrigible kids like me, to try to find the right path in life. You know, we were obviously doing the wrong things to get us there. Some of us didn't even change like I didn't change I got back out and obviously got back in trouble but it was that seed that was planted into my life and I'm sure everybody else's life that the Lord watered and it eventually I mean obviously it grew because well I'm not gonna say look at me now but look at me now <laughs> um, and it just brings me to my uh, um, one of my little verses I want to say train up your child in a way that's in Proverbs 22 verse 6 by the way um, train up your child in the way that he should go, he or she. When he or she is old, he or she will not depart from it. <clears throat> That's so true, friends. 
and I've been thinking about this a lot and the kids and some I've been talking to some parents and you know the activities that kids like to do and stuff like that and um, I really feel like there's no place for kids to go um, other than church or like school activities but school is really full of bullies and people that make your kids feel you know lesser than what the Lord has made them to be um, me being one of them I understand how kids are kids are mean kids are very selfish and kids are kids <laughs> kids will be kids but it's important that we try to get them um, to realize that they're loved they're somebody they're 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 skilled they're not what other little kids say because they believe kids more than they believe their parents and it's really hard when they start believing the untruth the not the truth whatever you want to call it the lies i'll put it that way so what am i going to do about it i'll tell you what i'm going to do about it um <clears throat> everybody knows i've been doing this little elm thing every life matters and i wanted to do a church maybe that's not what i should do right now but i feel like the lord's telling me to wait for my house which is not a big deal because these lumber prices are still ridiculous um but in the meantime you know i've almost got my property to like almost where i want it then i can just manicure it and do little things here and there and just wait you know just wait it's a waiting game right now but in the meantime, the Lord said, why don't you get kids and families together to have a place for them to come where it's safe to meet others, to share their beliefs in Christ, or to maybe save somebody's eternal salvation? And I was like, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> so I ran it by a couple people so far. Um, one person really uh, dug the idea, and I think I'm going to, I don't think, I'm gonna, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a step of faith and I'll read some scripture about faith because faith without works is dead. So I'm really trusting that the Lord will provide this to come to pass. So what I'm going to do, I've already got my ATV trails made. I'm going to make some more, of course, so it's a bigger place for everybody to enjoy it. But what I need is some resources. I need some people that will provide their time, their energy, <clears throat> and their knowledge, and maybe even some resources. Um, one thing that I want to put in is a full court basketball court. Um, kids love hooping. Me, personally, I like hooping. Adults, we like hooping. So um, I want to get something where we can enjoy, you know, playing basketball. I want something for all ages, all kids, all everything. So I need a um, full court basketball court put in. Um, I need cement, of course. I don't know how to do cement. I've never done it before. I'm sure I can learn very quickly. I'm sure a lot of you guys listening to this video or you know somebody that does concrete or has done concrete that might be able to help me out with your time and your knowledge and maybe even some concrete. Um, no, I'm not mixing bags together, but I'm sure if we get about 15 people together, I'm down for mixing some bags together, but one or two people mixing bags together is going to take forever. Um, I would like to get it all done in like one time and just, you know, get it covered if it rains or if not, just let this beautiful sunshine just do its thing with it. So that's one thing that I would need. The next thing I would need is, of course, two basketball hoops. Um, I want to get the movable, adjustable glass backboards. Um, those are, I want two of those on each side, of course. Um, that's it for the basketball area. I'll probably do the painting of the lines and all that myself. Um, the next thing is the volleyball uh, net area. I'm going to need some sand. I'm going to need like two probably 4x4s four by, by 12 or something. I don't know what I would need. Maybe 6x6s. Six sixes. I don't have a clue, but just two of those, of course, and a net. Um, not no rinky-dink little one. I want a good one that's going to withstand wind, rain, and definitely not the winter because I'm going to take it down for that. Um, but of course, if we can find somebody with a bunch of sand, I want to get that hauled in and some recommendations of what I should put down so weeds doesn't grow up through it. Um, uh, number three I'm going to need is like a pavilion area. So when we actually gather and 
um, if it rains a little bit or if we just want a spot for maybe the kids to go or the ladies to go or the men to go um, or to put the food down because we're going to have meals. I'm going to be cooking or we're going to pull together something with meals at all times when every get together happens. Um, so we're going to need like a pavilion built. Um, I got a spot that I want to clear out a little bit and probably lay a f cement pad down for that. Um, so uh, basically what I'm looking for right now is cement. We need to get that going and put in. Um, so that that's my three main things. Uh, the rest I can probably do because I'm going to build, I'm going to, not build, I'm going to put a, like a football place out there for the kids, the boys, the men, the ladies. No discrimination at all. Who wants to play what and do what? I just want to get everything ready so everybody has, you know, availability to these things. Um, but first and foremost, actually, we're going to, I mean, the four-wheeler trails are uh, open like right now. Um, I'm going to put the bug out there to some, uh, some moms and stuff. That's going to be like the main attraction for these kids. They're going to come out. They're going to be able to have fun. They're going to be able to ride. They're going to be able to meet new people, but I want to bring salvation to their lives. Um, of course we'll have fun. We'll have a good time. You know, I'll have a bonfire pit out there. We'll have, you know, a bunch of stuff. I mean, and that and eventually I'm going to have like, a big screen where we're gonna have like a movie night and stuff like that it's gonna be a great time for family fun safe family fun no drinking no smoking pot none of that stuff you can at least take one day out of your time to bring your kids to just enjoy life and what God put here for us you know and the availability the availability of a safe place to go um, a judgment free zone kind of like Planet Fitness um, You know, here's just some, uh, some things that I wrote down that really stuck to me about training up your child in the way they should go and they will not depart from it. You know, reading the Bible together daily, you know, that's a huge impact because if you continue to do it and not just do it once or twice and it fall by the wayside because it's not important, it's very important for the, you to plant these seeds in these kids' life that they can grow up with manners, they can grow up and not be judged by other people. Granted, they might be teased, but they, they it's going to brush off their shoulders and not get inside their heart. Um you know, maybe get get involved in a great church and stay faithful to it, you know. There's a bunch of churches out there that just ain't for you, but there's great churches out there, and I know for a fact there's some great churches out there. If you don't have a clue where to go, hit me up. I, I got different churches in different area codes that you can go to. Me, personally, I go to Granger Community and love it. Um, prioritize a mid midweek group. You know, that's what I'm trying to do right now is put all this together so we can have like a spot. We can all meet and we can all exchange numbers, stories, and just build a great friendship, a relationship, and just love people unconditionally and spread the love of Christ. You know, help others that need it. You know, there's people out there that's that's lonely, that's dying inside because they don't think that they have anybody. But we as Christians are supposed to love them people and help them people so that's what I want to train us up to do you know um, book into a Christian camp that's what I'm gonna try to eventually you know um, I don't want to be huge but if it does get big enough you know then I'll have to buy some more property you know I'm not I'm not uh, there's no limit on the faith of God there's no limit like if you believe it'll come to pass so I'm leaving this in God's hands. If it's his will, it will be done. So this is just a start. I'm just planting the seed. I know the Lord will water this. Um, pray together as a family. You know, if you guys pray together before foods, every food that you eat, you know, you should always remind your kids, you know, as they're growing up, you know, the Lord provided this for us. We should thank him, you know, and then give thanks. Even if it's just a small thing, acknowledge him. Um, because if not, then they're just going to be like, oh, I did this. I bought this. I provided this. I, I, I. Very selfish. And selfishness doesn't get us anywhere, obviously. Look at this world right now. It's very selfish. Um, see Christian friends regularly. That's what I want to do. I want to bring us all together just to enjoy and just have a good time, you know. Get some quads, you know. Bring a volleyball. Bring a basketball, you know. Bring a lawn chair. Just chill, relax. I mean, I got some beautiful property that's about to come to pass, man. You're going to have a great time just relaxing and 
what God has provided for us. Um, watch faith videos. That's what I want to do. You know, when I get the big screen, when I get the projector and the um, thing, I, I want to, you know, put a movie on for like the little kids or the adults. You know, we like movies too. We go want to go to a drive-in. We'll just come out to the property. You know, everything will be, it'll be set up pretty nice. If anybody knows me and the parties that I used to have, um, this will be 10 times better because the Lord's in it this time. So, um, what, do, what do I want to do while doing this? I want to clarify my beliefs. You know, I want to let people know through my testimony, through my love, through my actions of what the Lord has done for me and can, and will do for you guys and, and your kids. Um, I want to introduce spirit spirituality early on to the kids. Um, little little kids i'm gonna have i'm gonna get people involved in this that know you know teachers that teach little kids um teachers that teach on adults uh teenagers guys i want to like pull us all together guys and just you know talk about life guy stuff you know no offense to the ladies i'm gonna have people designated for the ladies group and ladies i just want you to feel comfortable enough that you can share with each other about what's going on in your lives and what you wish would change and kids i want the kids to feel comfortable sharing you know um i want to kind of just basically help these kids because if uh, there's a lot of them that are that were just like me didn't want to talk to anybody but yet couldn't trust anybody to talk to and i want to build a relationship with them knowing that hey Clinton's cool. I like him. You know, I can trust him. I can talk to him and without me bashing them, without me judging them. And I want to do this to the adults too. And we just need to help each other because that's, that's, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Um, I'm not going to pretend to have all the answers because I don't, I don't have all the answers. Um, I got some good uh, material about the Bible, some good stuff that's just black and white that you will understand, the stories of the Bible and stuff like that, that we can, you know, teach to these kids and to us adults and to myself while I'm doing I'll be teaching you guys just as much I'll be teaching me at some times, but I'm not going to pretend to have all the answers because I don't. So I'll have, you know, access to, you know, I'll write down questions, I'll get questions, I'll get comments, I'll get recommendations, I'll get it all, friends. I think if I just take this step and get some people that are willing to take this step with me, this will be amazing. I mean, I really, th I'm, I want the kids to benefit. I want the kids to come have a grand old time and never want to leave. But of course, you know, the time will come and we have to leave and then we'll, we'll reunite again. I can just, man, I can see it now and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, I can see the happiness and the smiles in the kids and just the relief of walking away and just feeling like they had a great time. Um, I want to use daily events to teach spirit, spirituality. Um, like we're going to have games. We're going to have fun times. We're just going to do things. The Granted, it's not at all going to be fun because at times we will serve. We'll like... We're supposed to love our neighbors as ourselves. So we're going to, I'm going to get some feedback from some people of maybe someplace we can go and maybe help somebody and do something for the community because I don't want to teach kids that, hey, all we do is, you know, collect, collect, collect. We need to give, you know, we need to um, help others also. Um, I want to build family traditions. You know, I want um, you guys to build a core value with your kids. I want, um, you know, just build a tradition of praying together to build a tradition of uh, going to church and, you know, trying to find some place that cares for you and wants everything that they can do to make your life better and easier and basically loving God. And then once we love God, once he's first and foremost in our lives, then um, that's it all pretty much falls into place. Um I want to instill an appreciation of nature. I've got great property where nature is just out there. Um, at times, if it's still enough, you'll be able to see deer walk in there. I just had a big old corral of deer right next to my mother's house, which was right where probably where the basketball court's going to be. But they're out there. They love it. And no, you can't hunt. <laughs> um, but I just love nature. And we should we really teach these kids about nature and stuff. And uh, granted, there will be times like the activity. Well, I'll get to activities in a minute. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Please, you won't be disappointed. Because um, I need feedback on this. I need people who want to make this happen and want to help me and want to help their kids. 
Um, and we're going to make it fun. We're going to make it fun. So much fun. Like we'll get dressed up at times. We'll just do crazy stuff to, for one, minister the love of Jesus Christ. And for two, to teach them about the Bible. There's kids that don't know anything about the Bible. Yeah, they know that Jesus died for us. Some of them don't even know that. So with that being said, there's a lot of kids that might not go to heaven. And I want to help them do that. The fun way. Not like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do this. I'm not pressing my beliefs on you at all. I don't want to feel pushy at all to anybody. So I don't want people to feel judged or like I'm trying to be better or I'm trying. I'm just trying to get you guys into heaven and not change your ways. Come as you are. I just ask that you don't get drunk or don't drink and don't smoke weed at this particular moment in time while you're there. Um, if you feel like you need to, then I, I would just ask that maybe you drop your kids off and go do what you got to do. Um, I do have to admit that now that I don't have that stuff in my life, I feel so much better. I don't have, I don't feel like that's a, a, a rock attached to my ankle. Like I have to move this everywhere that I go. I have to take it with me everywhere that I go. It's gone. I'm, I'm released. I'm, I'm free. So, yeah, so serve others, pray together, do meal times together, teach good values, express love for each other, and share the journey together. That's things that I want to do. That's what I want to do with everybody. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know me. I'm a fun type of person. I love to have fun. And eventually, if this goes really well, um, the Lord has blessed me with a really good job. So I'm kind of using all of my Um, I got a phone call coming and I don't know who the heck it is. Um, but I'm using all of my resources basically right now. So when the time comes that we get a bigger group and stuff like that, I will ask for donations. Um, this is a nonprofit. I'm not using any of this to put into my pocket. What I'm doing as I'm putting it, going to be putting it into the activities, the, the things that I want to do for these kids, like, Maybe take them to Porcupine Mountains. Maybe take them skiing for their first time. Or maybe take them kayaking or stuff like that that kids will just enjoy and learn to love and appreciate nature and know that there's somebody that cares for them and wants them to better to better them. And um, we all want to be loved. And kids want to have fun. Adults, we want to have fun too. But we also need community. We also need good friends that's going to help us out. Accountability partners. We need a lot of this stuff. So friends, I just ask that you partner with me and just do, can we do this together? I want to do this together so badly. And I need friends that's willing to do it with me. Step out, step out in faith. Um, I just need basically maybe some help, some feedback, and some resources. Cement. I need cement and everything that I listed at the beginning of this video. Friends, thank you for sticking with me. And please, please, please um, comment. You know, send me a message back um, if you're with me. I want to make this happen. And I'm pretty excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it regardless. It's going to take me a lot longer if I have to do it all myself. Um, but I have faith that the Lord will provide. So thank you for sticking with me. And... I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Love God, love others, love yourselves. Peace.